Hi, Carrie. I'm so glad you're here and to meet you. I love your work. I've been into it for a little while. Um, I belong to a few groups on social media. And um, one of those groups, very intelligent women and men, um, pretty much uh, African American. And we, we are trying to find out what is this force that has, that is attacking us so, so viciously. It's like um, the collection of DNA, swabbing the mouth with DNA, the, um, the mass incarceration, just collecting. And I remember you, earlier you said something about they could be collecting um, body, you know, biology from you and uh, the injection of the, you know, the tainted AIDS virus that they're going around to. And it's just really frustrating because you said um, they don't use guns. Um, they're using power of influence. Mm -hmm. And I notice it's like almost every day there's this horrible video that's just making certain ones of us just look so like something's happening. And then you see it kind of play out in real life. You see it like, you know, um, do they think that I'm like that? Do they think? And it's, it's like coming from so many directions. And it's really heartbreaking. And so I'm wondering, who are these this force that's doing it. You said it's two groups. Yes. And then I want to know um, how can we directly uh, protect ourselves from that attack because they are using people that look like us and, and they're using um, a lot of the men that look like us doing a lot of that attacking. So I'll just take my answer. Okay, yes, thank you. Uh, well, Let's, let's say it's, it's across all racial barriers, so that is going on for sure. But I appreciate what you said because there is a targeting happening. Uh, and certainly people of color have experienced this on this planet, especially this time around in, in a huge amount. Um, I, you know, I can say that, uh, that, that the, the, in essence, you know, it's, it's a cliche, but for example, here in America, for all intents and purposes, we are we have we are under the Fourth Reich. Okay, so the Nazism is it basically came over with the paperclip scientists. Uh, they also went to Russia. They also went to Argentina. These scientists were very very active in the secret space program. They're very very active in the upper levels of the bloodlines. These these people are all about bloodlines. Um, I, I think that there is a certain Fear of the power that your people hold, for example. Um, you have a very strong emotionality. You have a str very strong uh, sort of, you might say, heart, uh, intellect connection that should it ever come together really well would make you quite powerful beings here on the planet. Um, and it's, it's like an intuitive connection with the heart, you know, um, that you carry around with you and because of the connection with Africa where where we all at least at this point originated from this incarnation this version of humanity um, there's also a past with your people that was different than the current one now it depends if you want to kind of go down that road but it's a very interesting one it had to do with your race dominating the whites on the planet in a completely different version of humanity um, and those Illuminati may be playing some kind of psychological payback game. Now, I don't know that for a fact, uh, but I, I do know Ashiana Dean talks about uh, this as being a very distant, uh, one of the incarnations of humanity. In other words, at one time, women were also on top and men were kind of like the lower, as you know that. Um, what we are in at this time, I mean, we've made it through a lot of different sort of seedings of humanity. This particular seeding is going all the way. In other words, we are the ascension, the graduating class, for lack of a better word. That doesn't mean that individuals weren't graduating all along the way. But we're talking in, in large numbers, going out at this time, leaving the planet, uh, and, and, and in essence, uh, sort of ascending on the levels of which you want to think about that. Because when you talk about ascension, there are so many levels that, you know, it kind of becomes ludicrous to think about it just as in, you're not going to fifth dimension and going to sleep, all right? <laughs> it's, not even, it's not even attractive or desirable in my view, but some people kind of get off on a fairyland like that. Um, 
You know, so, so, but the bottom line is that this, this group of humanity, you're all here. I mean, we have, we have incarnating souls in mass. Of course, you know the numbers on the planet are huge at this time. There's a reason for that, okay? There's a reason why we have children coming in at this time. These children are composite beings. Uh, they are hybrids. Some of them are gray human hybrids, not all of them. Some of them are, are very interesting mixtures of other races being brought into the bloodlines at this time. Um, you know, so there are marvelous things happening. You're part of this huge experiment. I mean, the possibilities, they're not closed, okay? It's, it's been a time on this earth, I think, when there has been oppression of various races. Uh, you know, I know Indians, Native Americans uh, here on the planet, certainly in the United States, have been heavily oppressed, tragedies, you know, all you have to do is go to an Indian reservation and see that. I mean, women, you know, I mean, there, there's just so many groups of, 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 of beings that are being oppressed. There's no doubt whatsoever that the sort of typical bloodline of the Illuminati is, you know, white Anglo-Saxon, you know, go up the, the food chain, German, you know. Um, in fact, there's a lot of evidence that the Aldebaran, beings from Aldebaran, which are very much the sort of Nazi physique, are ones that are part of the heavily, um, you know, their DNA definitely like the bushes, kind of leans towards the reptilian side of things. Uh, there probably is an ongoing war, for example, with uh, races that have more uh, dark pigmentation between those and the Aldebaran group. Um, these are all things that we sort of inherited the wars, if you will, so that we continue them because it's in our DNA. Some of us, I call us boots on the ground. That's what you are, in essence. But remember that you have a vested interest from before this incarnation. So you're also playing out those lines and, and understand that your role is in those ways as well. You know. So, but thank you. Good question. Hi, Terry. I'm 